Welcome to Row with Controls. Here's your host, Steve Rowe. Hello, everyone. Today, I'd like to talk about what I believe to be a few of the keys to success with lighting controls delivery on a commercial project. We first need to acknowledge that lighting controls have changed. Between the advancement of wireless controls, luminaire embedded controls, and growing networked lighting control systems, there need to be other changes in the design and delivery process to ensure a smooth installation system startup, and in the end, a satisfied and happy customer. Although my list here is far from exhaustive, here are three considerations for those involved with specifying and delivering a lighting control system design. One, document, document, document. It's important to be thorough here and document up front. With the increase of wireless luminaire embedded lighting controls, driven by simplified installation, increased energy savings, more system flexibility, it's important to keep clear drawings and documentation. Having lighting schedules that clearly document that embedded controls is important for all parties during the procurement, installation, and startup parts of the process. Number two, carrying the documentation theme into our second consideration, we also need to consider installation documentation as well. Clear installation documentation will help with system startup and programming, and also with operations and maintenance for the facility staff down the road. There are even software tools available to help with documentation and as built today. Number three, plan upfront for pre and post installation visits. Meeting with the general contractor and electrical contractor upfront can help ensure a smooth installation and startup. And just as important, post installation and startup visits give an opportunity for all parties to confirm the system's operating as designed and even for the opportunity to make final tweaks to best suit the customer needs. I know changes late in the process are often discouraged, but planning for minor changes at the end are likely to ensure a more satisfied customer and better use of the lighting control system. Let's remind ourselves that these lighting control networks are living and breathing, and the more we can get customers to make full use of them, will drive an enhanced user experience in the space, and of course, we can save more energy. So a quick summary of my point here. Lighting controls have changed, and so our processes should change as well to drive successful delivery out on a commercial project. Documenting and pre-planned visits are key ways to drive this success. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on Row with Controls. Thank you.